what happened, how much does it have to do with Amazon and Whole Foods? A good bit of this uh, does have to do with Amazon Whole Foods, and you saw that big price cut happen on the roadshow before these shares price down to this $10 level. But, you know, looking at the trading today, the fact that it was actually unchanged. It closed at $10 a share. We had some aftermarket trade at about $9.95 below the IPO price. It seems like uh, there's a bit more investor concern baked in as well. The initial valuation they went out at, at a $3.2 billion market value at the high end, that's what they were trying to get when they launched this IPO, w did not come to fruition. Right now they're sitting at a $1.9 billion market Market valuation and if I'm an investor I'm sitting back I'm looking at this company I'm saying where's the growth and I'm saying how are you going to afford it because frankly when I look at this cash position it seems like they actually might need some money soon so some of that could be uh, a, a playing into this uh, downward or very flat pressure for Blue Apron shares. David, should investors be concerned about Blue Apron simply because of Amazon Whole Foods or because of all these other things that Alex has mentioned? Well, I think that if I were in any kind of food delivery related business, I would be watching Amazon with incredible care. And the fact that they bought Whole Foods, which surprised most of us, I think just goes to show the seriousness with which they view food as, as you know, a part of their conquer the world and all the world strategy. So, yes, I do think so. I think they should worry. Seriously. Alex, uh, should there be any more scrutiny on how the bankers handled this IPO in particular, not knowing that uh, Amazon Whole Foods was coming? So it seems like they did what they had to. Uh, I was, I've been talking to folks who are around the deal, not around the deal, who are in the industry. And look, if they launched the deal when they did three days after the Amazon announcement, or if they waited until perhaps after Labor Day, th this idea of Amazon Whole Foods is still going to be there. Uh, the valuation they went out at is very strong. As we talked about, it was uh, valued at more richly than most of the e-commerce companies out there. So the valuation point um, made some folks scratch their heads. So it seems like they did what they needed to do to get the deal done. And frankly, Blue Apron needs cash. If you look back at their first quarter uh, cash uh, situation, they had $61 million on hand. They're spend, they spent, uh, they had free cash flow deficit of $74 million in that quarter. And they told investors in the S1, look, we have cash and borrowings to get us to at least 12 months of runway. That's not a ton of time. So this is a company that is having to outmarket its competitors now being Amazon Whole Foods and others and is continuing to try to build out its uh, logistics network and its fulfillment center. So they needed the money. So whether you wait a few months or you go out now, it's always going to be a question of valuation to actually get the deal done.